Hey guys, it's Nick and first of all I want to thank every one of you who leave your comments on previous videos and this one we are recording in, in 1080p as majority of you requested so no more upscaling, downscaling or wide angles, uh, wide monitors and all that stuff. So if you find this video helpful or you want to support me doing these quick tutorials, long tutorials, breakdowns and all that kind of stuff, uh, please leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube and Instagram. Links are in the description. We are doing today kind of a breakdown of uh, realistic lighting or lighting for interiors. This uh, is not like super real Arcviz lighting but more of a dreamy motion design look. So we are uh, basically inspiring of my previous explorations in this theme that looks like this. So as you may see it's a really clean interior where we are getting um, all the shadows, reflections and it feels realistic enough to me like in terms of yeah, motion design uh, so let's uh, see how I created a similar look uh, in another project. So we are using Octane Render, uh, we are using Path Tracing Kernel with uh, max samples uh, set to 1024, Diffuse Depth 8, Specular Depth 8, Scatter Depth 6, uh, Caustic Blur 0.1 and GI Clamp to 100. So uh, let me just uh, also share my camera setup. It's thin lens camera with wide angle. Our room is just a bunch of uh, cubes. It's really like dirty setup, but I I don't want to like yeah, do all these extrusions because we are using just uh, plain glossy material to uh, texture uh, on these uh, walls. And, and column here so nothing too crazy but yeah as I said it looks it looks really good so the main uh, thing that I see some artists are not using is the octane daylight so for this it should be just yeah access okay so octane daylight you may instantly see um, that we are like getting the shadows and we see the from the angle from which the light is coming and uh, I'm using Nishita or Nishita or Nishita daylight model here um, yeah I cranked the power to 1.5 uh, sun size is 1.8 just so these so shadows are soft, softer and also I'm using the medium because medium is kind of a, a foggy or dusty overlay um, it, it just yeah, makes it it makes it a little bit darker uh, I'm using these settings like that's just like a pure, pure white a little bit of yellow so we are in a kind of um, sunset mood. Um, other than that, nothing too fancy here. Um, yeah. Also, we are using the Octane uh, Sky, which is an HDRI. I picked this. Uh, how did it called? It's Piaggia Di Mondello 8K HDRI from HDRI Heaven and uh, let's enable that too. You see um, the HDRI when the Octane Daylight's mix texture, mix sky texture checkbox is checked, it doesn't affect your shadow position that much. It affects uh, more like uh, a colors of the, of the light. So let me just quickly uh, enable AB comparison if we toggle it off no, we need a store render buffer yeah and now let's enable so you see 
it just gets the color value or light value, I don't know, but it doesn't affect the shadows that much. All right, so disable this. And uh, for our background, I'm just using a gradient from white to blue, kind of sky. So that's basically my go-to setup for like majority of the interiors. And also I, I was doing some of the product renders with this setup. Obviously, for product renders, you might want to use like Studio HDRI or set just three area lights. But if you want to achieve this kind of dreamy look, uh, yeah, be sure to check out just Octane Daylight and Octane Sky. And great thing about the Octane Deadlight, uh, Deadlight, yeah, <laughs> Octane Daylight is that you can uh, play with this Norse offset. So if you are doing an animation, you can just try animating it and you will see how the... I mean, it's really a cool result when you just animate this one slightly. You, you are not doing like super time-lapse thing, but just animate it slightly so we can see that light goes um, through the scene. Also, um, to add a bit more realism, I added these glass cubes here. Um, it helps a bit with the reflection. Let's also fix our Norse offset. I think something, yeah, I want something like this. So it's not too reflective. But yeah, uh, this is basically how you, how you do these scenes and uh, set up these lights that are like maximally close to the real life um, also you can try in camera in octane camera enabling um, camera imager and let's bring our exposure down and bring our gamma up just a tiny bit it also adds a bit more like atmosphere and decreases the overall contrast also, we should enable the spectral AI denoiser, and in the post-processing, we might want to add a little bit of bloom. Um, maybe, yeah, maybe like this. And um, yeah, I think that's that's all for today. Um, we can also play with these lights. So yeah, it's up to you. Uh, you may yeah play with them and find your like uh, preferred angles. Yeah, that's uh, all. This is a yeah kind of a quick tip. Uh, I think it's the shortest video on the channel <laughs> for this moment. But uh, I still hope that you find it useful. If uh, yeah, if you find it useful, please leave a like and uh, share this this video and subscribe to the channel. All that yeah, basic stuff. Um, so yeah, that's all. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.